I am returning to Washington to report to the President. I leave England at this time with real regret. No one could do otherwise who has lived in England for the past three years. They've been full years, years that have seen history made in your country and in mine. I'm grateful for this opportunity to speak to you. It's been a tough two months. You have faced it day and night with plenty of courage. You faced it with your chins up and with a grin. And nothing is as significant to me as the sign on your salvage wagons that go around through the cities, which to me represents the slogan of all the British people, and that is, we can take it. I can't forget a shop I passed coming to work the other day. It sells knickknacks. The whole front of it had been blown out. But on the top was hanging a sign. Business as usual, but now wide open day and night. That's your courage. When I went to school, we were taught that the great courage of the world was Spartan courage. But your exhibition will certainly earn you a great page in history and we'll have it talked about for centuries to come. British courage. My hat's off to you. May I also say at this time that I shall never forget your kindness to me and to my family. There will not be one minute while I am away that I shall not be thinking of you and praying for you. God bless you all. <laughs>